that in the first two decades of 21st century, the rate of changes in many human systems has accelerated more dramatically than any time, other time in the history. At the same time, the education system has stayed unchanged. The last change was in 18th century, when education was designed to meet needs of the labor in industrial revolution, what meant performing simple and repetitive tasks. But that era is long ago over. The right to education is fundamental, and in most countries, it is a legal obligation for certain age groups. A lot of research has exposed that schools teach a lot of unwanted and unnecessary information. How is it possible to transform education system, which has great history, inertia, and fear of changes, while being aware that in 20th century education emphasizes compliance and conformity over creativity, two skills that were at that time necessary to hold down a job for decades. In the first two decades of the 21st century, the education is aimed to find pragmatic solution to global problems in the world of growing interdisciplinary collaboration and cooperation while sharing information from different fields. Education is becoming reshaped through new innovative teaching methods, advancement in technology, and pragmatic design. I'm deliberately not mentioning artificial intelligence here. In terms of uh, teaching strategies, it is encouraged a multi-dimensional approach to the education process, which tends to regulate multi-convergent and divergent strategies of teaching. The convergent approach is, as you know, highly structured and teacher-centered. In it, the students are passive recipient of knowledge transmitted to them, while learning achievements are measured by standardized tests, what is one of the worst things in contemporary education. The divergent approach is flexible, student-centered again, where the students are active participants in the learning process, and learning achievements are accessed by a variety of evaluation tests. <coughs> Those should be practiced through individualized learning, where all students' needs, learning styles, and interests are created such to end with the personal curriculum. In that sense, the curriculum, which implies 10 to 20 different uh, subjects, what's the case in my country, I think in Serbia too, and in many other countries, has to be forgotten. The 21st year of education should not be too much formalized. It should be enabled to students to acquire knowledge from different disciplines through a unified team while at the same time practicing different and special ways of the objectives of the integrated units. Thus, in particular, education should be focused on individual students adapting testing to different styles for students and integrating the curricula by developing interdisciplinary curriculum units. The coalition P21 identified four skills for today namely creativity, critical thinking, communicating, and collaborating, which should be implemented in education system. <clears throat> Among the most difficult problems faced by the education system are those associated with the teaching effectiveness. The current, the current preparation of teachers for specific age level, specific subject matter, specific academic skills, etc., does not take into account uh, consideration does not take in con consideration sufficiently the complexity of factors such as students variety various characteristics teaching should be transformed to individual informal individual by informal learning while education will be for all ages it is understood that those changes will result in the shift from practice of abstract learning to practical learning even humanity and social sciences being fa focused on practice skills, practical skills needed for real situation. Obviously, in such process, teachers will become only mentors. In view of the cross-disciplinary trends, the curriculum should be integrated around the topic that reflect the patterns, interaction, and interdisciplinary of different fields. Interdisciplinary curriculum education needs to emphasize students' talents and abilities. They should enable students to study, start to comprehend the world around them through concepts and ideas that are less disparate and disconnected, as well as enable them to live and work 
with equal opportunities anywhere in the world while keeping up with the interest, their interests and abilities. The creativity and innovation thinking will be more valuable than rote learning of any depth. It is certain that all around the world, schools will not be the same, and they will not act the same. In fact, it will happen a dramatic difference of schools and non-traditional learning experience. This brings evaluation process to top priorities. Evaluation, uh, educational evaluation should pay specific attention to aims, needs, per perceptions, values, and resources, and it should result in specific judgment of word, significance, and meaning of phenomena. Educational institutions usually perform evaluation with purpose to de demonstrate effectiveness to stakeholders or founders and for marketing purposes. The education process influenced strongly by the proliferation of technology. Technology is, an, is at an exponential rate being adapted to teaching and learning. Such textbooks and curriculum have gone digital. Online lessons and classes have become everyday uh, practice. Computers have been present in all aspects of education. Are the new technologies to improve education system such to meet coming ch challenges, or are they just the toys in the hands of the children? The situation in education sphere can be considered quite controversial. Such, many schools are afraid that technology will replace teachers. Others, in contrary, argue that using gadgets, children will, er will learn better. Certainly, each of, each of these parties is right. Modern technologies will benefit education process and can change many traditional teaching aids only if they are adequately applied. No doubt, great, applica uh, great application of technology will help to introduce interdisciplinary curriculum in teaching practices. <coughs> I'm not deliberately talking on artificial intelligence and education, which is a specific topic, and Velko might talk uh, uh, more in detail on that, which is changing completely education and our life, in my view. Education is primarily a state and health respons and local responsibility. There are st uh, states and communities, as well as public and private organization of all kinds that establish schools and colleges, develop curricula, and determine requirements for enrollment and graduation. Academic freedom and responsibility, which involves professors as well as public review of work together, have long been topic for public concern and debate such to foster the education of students. It is an essential precondition to fulfill the mission of education educating students and advancing knowledge. In the education process, teachers must bear their own professional responsibility by acting not only professional, but believing, uh, behaving appropriately towards students, being observant, creating a safe learning environment and communicating students at a place of learning, what's not the case, uh, at least in my country. Communicating by, uh, consequently, by understanding the students' needs, a variety of different teaching styles should be used to ensure, ensure none of the students is isolated, is not able to fully participate. In this process, the faculty are responsible for establishing goals for student learning, for designing and implementing programs of general education and specialized studies, and for assessing students' achievement. In that process, there is no agreement on what should be the goals consensus and responsibility of quality assurance, which is a big problem uh, worldwide when you communicate with different countries and different communities. I'm finishing soon. Uh, the complex changes followed by scientific, technological, and social uh, challenges which we experience generate many new demands if we want to reach significant improvement of, exi of existing education system. Such Education systems cannot be any more based on a single uni unique approach. Basically, it will mean forgetting doing learning to learners, but, uh, uh, but practicing learning by and with learners. What should 
introduce in education critical thinking in problem solving while working collaboratively and communicating effectively. The most important and on top of everything what I said is if education is needed for job. Then it is very uncertain what and how to teach, being aware that we are not clear which job will exist and how they will be performed even in the middle of this century. Such our children would possibly practice in their lifetime, 10 to 14, I'm just finishing one sentence, please. Uh, uh, this is very important. Uh, uh, 10 to 14 different jobs, even sh short jobs, even at the same time, even changing their profession. Moreover, 25 years from now, 65% of uh, contemporary graduates will be going into jobs they don't exist now. To finish the responsibility, let me say that the responsi responsibility in education process is shared by many actors involving state, local community, public sector, professional institution, as well as existing regulation. And just doing that, it might be possible to achieve responsible achievement what we are looking for. Thank you.